knots. Check. V1, rotate. Engine failure with fire. Gear up. Heading select. Engine fire recall procedure. Thrust lever close. Confirm number two engine. Number two engine confirmed. Auto throttle is disengaged. Start lever cut off. Verify number two engine. Verified. Number two start lever cut off. Pull the number two fire switch. Number two fire switch pulled. Is the engine fire or overheat warning light still on? Yes. Rotate the number two fire switch. The right bottle discharge light is eliminated. Start timing for 30 seconds. Timing started. Set speed 210. The number two engine overheat and fire warning lights are extinguished. Thank you. Flaps one. Check master caution. Master caution and enunciator lights are consistent with an engine failure and fire. Reset master caution. Flaps up. Level change, set continuous thrust. Max continuous thrust is set. Select A autopilot to command. Engine fire checklist. Engine fire, severe damage, or separation checklist. Thrust lever, close. Close. Auto throttle, disengage. Disengage. Start lever, cut off. Cut off. Engine fire warning switch, pull. Switch is pulled, the fire is out. Isolation valve switch, close. It's closed. Closed. APU bleed air switch off. It's off. Off. APU start and on bus. Start the APU. APU is starting. Advise ATC of our problem. Request 5,000 feet radar vectors for an ILS. Okay. Grant County Tower, Boeing Trainer 33 has an emergency requesting 5,000 feet and radar vectors for an ILS approach. Boeing Trainer 33, turn right, heading 140 for vectors to ILS runway 32 right. Maintain 5,000.
clear right. Turn right, heading 140, maintain 5,000, Boeing Trainer 33. We're out of 4,500 for 5,000. APU is available. Put the APU generator on the bus. Fuel balance. Balance the fuel. Master caution is for fuel and low pressure lights. Reset master caution. Transponder mode selector, TA. It's TA. TA. If wing anti-ice is required, the TAT is 14 degrees. Anti-ice not required. The engine fire, severe damage, or separation checklist is complete, down to one engine and operative landing checklist. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, air conditioning is set, the pressurization will return for landing. Start switches are off, landing gear is up and off, flaps are up, no lights, after takeoff checklist complete. Boeing Trainer 33, descend to 3000. Boeing Trainer 33 is leaving 5,000 for 3,000. The master caution is for off schedule descent. Reset master caution. Let's look more closely at the engine failure with fire after V1 procedure. The first indication this crew had of an engine failure with fire was when the airplane began to yaw, followed by the engine fire warning. The responsibility of the pilot flying is to maintain directional control with the rudder pedals. The pilot not flying advises that there has been an engine failure and fire. Engine failure and fire. The fire warning bell can be silenced by pressing either master warning light or by pressing the bell cutout switch on the center pedestal.